Good day everyone and you are welcome to Central Craft Channel today. You might be wondering what is actually happening. I have a gangestious lady by myself. You know we just got the African Fashion and Food Expo 2019 and there we had winners as in youths on the 30 CEOs in the fashion industry. This is the second runner-up and she's by name Kende. Yes, she was the second runner up and she's the creative mind be behind Kayland West. West. So she's in Central Craft Studio today. She wants to be making for us an easy to wear cow dress. I would like you to follow her. She has her channel, it will be displayed below. Please follow her. By this, you are encouraging the African youth to go forward and not just Nigeria. And if you're there in that world, please follow her on her YouTube channel, like, comment. These are young. As you can see, she's very, very small and small, small, small. She's very small. So please do follow her on her YouTube channel. Like her videos. She has just started and she's going places. Most of them will be coming on Central Craft channel right now to be doing different styles. So she told me it's just in five minutes. So let's see how true it is. Isn't it? Yeah. Let's get started. <laughs> An easy to wear cow dress. One, two, go. Catch you. Yeah. What are our measurement parameters? We're going to use the shoulder the hip and the full length of your dress measurement. So what's your shoulder? So the shoulder, this is how we take the shoulder for this dress because it's called cut to shoulder dress. So our measurement is going to stop at 15. Okay, 15 yeah. for the shoulder, then yeah. the hip, normally yeah. 40. Normal um, measurement, this is 42. And then the full length is 43. Then we'll add the sewing allowance, which is 1 inches or 1.5. Okay, so she's going to use... 40, 43 dress length and yes. one and a half inches similar. So let's get started. How many yards of fabric are you so using? The fabric is two yards. So this is two yards. I folded it into two. Then you fold it on that way. So that is, we fold it into four. So we we'll start taking our measurement. The full length first, which is 43. Forty-three. Then we had one point five. That is forty-four and a half. Okay. So to take the shoulder, the shoulder is fifteen. So we're going to add one point five to it. So we're going to take the depth and the width of the neck because it's a free wear. So we are not going to put zip at the back. I'm going to use four for the depth. Okay. Also four for the width too. Okay, for the shoulder, we are going to use 15 inches. So I'm going to add 1.5 inches allowance. So the depth for the neck because it's not going to have a zip, so we need to make it to be free. So I will use 4.5 or 5 inches, but I prefer 4.5. 4 so the width is going to be 4 inches. So to get it perfectly, we can first make a square. and then you call it. So we are done with the next side. So we are going to get the hip line of the person measurement. The hip line is 20, 28. So I'm going to put um, simp allowance, which is 20, 28 and a half. I'm putting the simp allowance because by the time we hold the um, shoulder is going to go up, up. So, on this my hip line, I'm going to take the hip measurement, which is forty-three. Forty-three. Then this forty-three, I'm going to I'm divided it into two like this. Then I'll divide it the then when I divided it into two, I got 21 and a half. 
Then I would divide it with one and a half into two again. Then I got 11 point, um, 10 point five. That means we are going to divide the measurement of the hip width divided by four. So I'm going to add hip allowance, which is 1.5. So from the sewing allowance of the shoulder, we are going to make a straight, straight line to the hip line of the dress. So you make the straight line. Then from the straight line, we are going to go, we are going to reduce it by four, four inches. Then we make a curve to where our um, hip sewing allowance is. So we make a, from that hip sewing allowance, we make a straight line to where our foot, uh, full length is. We can also take um, measurements here. The person hip is 40, 42 divided by 4, that is 10 and a half. Then we added 1.5 inches, that, that is 12. So to get the fitness of the hemline of the dress, I'm going to minus 1 quarter inches from this, um, this our hip measurement. So if I minus, I will get 11 and a half. So I'm going to connect the hip allowance of the hip line and the hem line together. So for the shoulder, we are going to slant it because our shoulders are not straight. So I'll come down by one inch, one inch to get the Slant line. So now I will call. And this is how to cut the cow, it's easy to wear cow dress in just two minutes and then we are going to sew it in just five minutes. So let's go together. Fun. I'm going to start sewing them, sewing the dress now. So we are starting from the side, we are going to join the sides both with half an inch to start sewing. This is the curve side, so we are going to make a curve. This is the same process for the second part to join the side. So we are done stitching the both sides. So this is how it is. We are going to stitch the shoulder side now. So to stitch the shoulder side, we are going to measure the shoulder side again. We have um, 11 because by the time we remove this sewing allowance here, we we'll have this 11 and a half, so we use 11. We we'll divide the 11 into 2, that is 5 and a half. So I want the opening part to be more, so I will just use five inches. So this 
would sew it from the should from the neckline to the five inches. That is the only place to um close from the shoulder side. And we are doing that to both sides. Now I'm biasing the next line. So let's start. So I'm done with the neckline between the side. This is how it should look like. Now I'm going to end the down part. I fan, hope you love our outfit that we just finished making, that I just finished making. And please fan, share it and subscribe to my channel. Cetro are just using their platform to promote my business. And please fan, I'm just a little girl. Please subscribe. Bye. Please help to subscribe. She's so shy. Let me talk to her. Please, please and please. We are trying to grow the Nigerian economy and the African economy at all. Oh, so please, if you love us, subscribe to Kaylan where she's just a little girl, as you can see, and she's doing this. Our, our channel is displayed in the description below, uh, box below. She's uh, our channel name is Kayland Weird. Please follow her. She's going to bring you interesting content. Please, please, please. So till we come your way next time on Setro Craft Channel, I remain Joker Setro. Check, 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 check. It. Don't forget to subscribe to my blog channel. I will not forget. The, the free class is going to start once Setro's blog reach 1,000 subscribers. 1,000 subscribers. We're going to start the free class. So I love you all. Till I come your way next time. You know I'm a get, 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 get. Catch you. Bye-bye.